Hey boys, it's Arm9. Today we're going to be customizing the Ocelot Swinger in Grand Theft Auto Online. This thing is on sale this week, so I figured now was a good time to customize it. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. So to start off with the armor, we're going to go all the way up on that, of course. For the brakes, we're going to go race brakes because we want to stop quickly. Next up, we're going to see what we can do to the engine. Oh, and it's more than just a tune. Okay, so we got some air filters that we can do here. So let's take a look at all of these and see which ones we actually want to go for. It looks like we got some painted ones. Yeah, we do. Uh, the black... I think the black filter looks pretty cool, so maybe we'll go for that, or maybe we should go for the secondary filter. Let's go for the secondary filter, why not? Engine tunes, we're gonna go all the way up on that. For the valve covers, we can change this up. We can go uh, carbon, we can go chrome, we can go primary, or of course, secondary. We're gonna go secondary because we're gonna match up that uh, with the rest of the engine there. I have kind of an idea for that, so we'll see what happens. For the exhaust, we have quite a few different options here. Um, I'm not really sure which one I wanna go for. I actually almost like the stock one the best, I feel like. You know, I think I like the slanted dual exhaust a little bit better, so we're gonna go for that one. For the grill, we got the carbon vertical grill, the carbon horizontal grill, the chrome vertical or the chrome horizontal. We'll go chrome horizontal. I'm not sure what, like, why Why are there carbon options for a car that was like from probably the 1930s realistically? Like, I feel like that's kind of weird. But anyways, we can add race lights to this thing or race lights with fog lamps. Um, I wish that I could just add this option without having the X's on them. Um, so I think we're just going to leave it stock. For the hood, we do have a few different options here. We got the latches. We got some other stuff we can do here. Oh, a little screen that we can add. Okay, that's interesting. Kind of like that. We got the alternate hood. Um, it is kind of cool that you can put the screen on here as like, you know, a, a you know sort of windshield, I guess. Um, I'm not a big fan of any of these hood options, though. That's the only thing. Um, I do like the stock hood. And I, I think I'm just going to leave it stock. I mean, it's kind of boring, but like, we'll go ahead and add the latches onto it just to do something, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really a fan of many of those other hood options. We are going to go Xenon for the lights though, of course. For the livery, we have racing stripes. We of course have total ride motos. We got the classic Ocelot stripes. I like that. Commercial racing. We got the Cervaza Baracho livery. Uh, we got the Hawk and Little. We got the Hayes Auto Body Shop. Got the Ocelot. I do like that. That is actually really cool. We got the Globe Oil livery as well. We have for Queen and Country. I do like that. Um, I think we're going to go for the Ocelot livery. I do I do like the look of that. I think that looks really cool. So we'll go ahead and add that onto the vehicle. For the plate, we are going to go yellow and black, of course. Now for the respray on the car, I don't know what color I want to go for here. I'm almost thinking like a British racing green because I feel like that's just appropriate for this car. Um, so we'll take a look at what that's going to what that's going to look like. Racing green does look really nice on this. Olive green's cool. Bright green is also cool. Maybe a bright green actually. Or should we just go racing green? I never do racing green on any of my cars. Let's go ahead and add that on. Why not? For the secondary color, let's see. Uh, oh, I think I want to do the secondary as black. Uh, because what does that affect? Oh, it affects, oh right, it affects the engine. Ah, see, that's annoying because I wanted to do something a little bit brighter for that, but um, unfortunately it also affects what the headlights look like. So that's rather annoying actually. Um, we'll go we'll go for a racing green, I guess, for the secondary just to match up because we want the engine to look kind of cool anyway. So um, actually, you know what we're gonna do? No. We're gonna go uh we're gonna go black on the secondary color and then we're oh for the trim hold on we gotta do the trim first does the steering wheel color interesting um let's go for something a little a little brighter there maybe a racing blue an ultra blue let's go for an ultra blue why not okay now we gotta go back to what was that the engine the air filters let's just go for the primary filter um and for the valve covers we're gonna go for the primary valve covers as well so that they are at least racing green um i feel like that's kind of cool looking so we'll do that now for the suspension we're gonna lower this thing down all the way of course we're gonna try to make this thing handle as good as possible race transmission the trunk we can add a uh, stock trunk with latches the outtake trunk or the outtake trunk with latches let's go for the outtake trunk um i that's cool, I guess. It's just like basically more exhaust, I guess, or something. I don't know. Well, it's not exhaust, obviously, but 
I don't know. I don't know what the whole idea is there. If somebody can explain that in the comments, go for it. For the wheels, this is uh, next up. What do we want to do here? Um, I do like the stock wheels actually a little bit on this thing. I think they look pretty good. What category do I want to even try to find wheels in? I guess this street category. Let's see. Let's see if we can find anything decent. I do not know what rims to put on this thing to be completely honest. Uh... I like the stock wheels a lot, but I don't really want to leave them in that color, you know what I mean? So I definitely don't want to go low profile because, yeah, that does not look very good. Uh, what about the track wheels? Is there anything in here that's... No, those are really low profile. Uh, low rider rims, maybe? Oh, we could go for like the split six or something. Those are kind of cool looking. Um, or the fresh mesh. Let's go for the fresh mesh. I don't think I've ever used these before. Um, I'm not sure if they really fit with this car, honestly. I'm going to have to get some sort of wheel expert in the comments to let me know if these are uh, good with this car or not. I think they look okay, so that's good at least. For the windows, we're going to tint those all the way out, obviously, and uh, that's pretty much it for the customization. It's time to take this thing down to the ground. We're going to do a sound test and a full review on the car. All right, here we are outside. Let's take a listen to what the Ocelot Swinger sounds like. It sounds like weird. It, it takes forever to rev this car. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I wasn't really expecting that. It does have really good grip off the line. That's something that I'm noticing. And it's, wow, it's fast. Um, yeah, no doubt about it. The Ocelot Swinger, it's a fast car. Holy. Um, that actually surprised me a lot. Uh, the camera angle with this car is really weird. It's really low to the ground. Um, I, I've noticed that. That's like the first thing I noticed with the car. So that's something I'm going to have to get used to, I guess. The Ocelot Swinger. Wow, okay. I, I, it's been a long time since I've driven this car. I've never actually driven this car at like being the owner of it. Um, I've only driven it, you know, having borrowed it from a friend or just, you know, a random player in a session. Wow. Oh my god. It's like really controllable, but really unstable at the same time i i don't know i don't know how to describe that exactly um i have to say i i do like the car it is uh it is it is growing on me for sure um let's see let's see how the handling is that's the first thing that i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of inspect here as usual let's see if it uh if it makes it around okay okay it doesn't um <sighs> I don't know. I feel like it kind of understeers a little bit and it also jumps around a lot. It kind of reminds me of the Itali GTO in the fact that like it, it, it seems like it's jumping around a lot. Um, the rear end of the car definitely feels like it's lifting off of the ground kind of, um, but it, it still remains to have like good grip. So it's, it's kind of like the Itali GTO in that sense. Um, this thing is really, really quick in a straight line. The acceleration is fantastic on this car. Make no mistake about that. Um, I have a feeling the top speed is really Really good too i i haven't tested it personally but i have heard that this car does have a pretty decent top speed and i could see why because the acceleration is nuts already so why wouldn't it have a good top speed you know what i mean so Overall, the Ocelot Swinger, I mean, the performance is there, that's for sure. Um, maybe it's just one of those cars that I'm going to have to get used to. I think that is a um, that is something that is probably going to happen with this car, uh, whether you're, you know, whether it's me or you. Um, I do think that this thing is it's going to take some getting used to, but I think that it is a really good car. Um, I know it is one of the fastest sports classics in the entire game. I do believe it's like probably seventh or eighth now um, after the Turismo Classic. HSW uh, has been added into the game, obviously, and the Sterling GT HSW at that. Um, I, it's probably it's probably within the top 10 fastest around a track still, I would go ahead and say. Um, I could be wrong, it could be just outside of the top 10, but I do remember this thing being in the top 10 fastest around a track, and I can totally see why. This thing's really quick in a straight line, like I said, top speed, decent, and it does actually have pretty good brakes for being the, uh, the old car that it is, and the handling is very, very planted. Uh, it feels really good. I feel like the longer that you turn for, the more this car like starts to turn. I, I don't know if the steering is just weird in this, or maybe it's just a placebo of some sort, but uh, the handling feels good. It feels like it gets better and better as you go through a corner, which is like really weird. I don't know how that is a thing that I'm feeling right now, but that's how I feel about the Oslo Swing. I feel like it is getting better and better the more I drive it, and it does definitely seem to turn in harder. Um, the longer that you have the wheel like you know to the side for like if you're turning right the longer you're turning right for it The more it's going to turn right if that makes sense I don't know how to describe it other than that 
But uh, what I can tell you, I mean, I am a fan of this thing. It does feel really, really good. And I have to say, I mean, for the price that it is right now, which I believe is 40% off of its regular price, the Ocelot Swinger is a pretty good car. I mean, for the sports classic category, it's not exactly a super popular category to race in, but if you want to race in the sports classic category, the Swinger is one of the better cars to do it with. Um, obviously, if you're on the expanded and enhanced edition, you should go for a Sterling GT HSW or a Turismo Classic HSW. Both of those cars are fantastic and they're basically like the best cars in the entire game in that category but if you're on last gen and you just want a cool car for free mode or you want a car that you could use in sports classic races the ocelot swinger is that car i believe um this thing is absolutely awesome i have to say i do recommend picking it up while it is on sale but it's only on sale for a few more days, so if you guys are planning on getting one of these, you should do it sooner than later. So that's it for the Ocelot Swinger customization and review, guys. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, a like is of course appreciated. If not, dislike, subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.